Hey guys, this is me, Frenzy91, and I'm going to show you guys this little trick. Now, this isn't for games, this is for if you're writing something and you want it done in a specific way. All right, first off, let me start with the story, how I came to get this. I was actually trying for three hours. I actually do write, I was writing a book, and I was actually needed the headers. If you know most novels, they don't usually have the headers by the chapters, so I need them to be removed from each chapter page. Now, Word makes it very complicated to do that, so I was trying for three hours. And my mom, she prayed that God would give me unusual wisdom. And then all of a sudden, like, I didn't even know she prayed until afterwards. But, all, but r like, right after she prayed, it seems, I, it hit me. I could just, instead of, like, doing the whole complicated method, all I have to do is make each chapter a new section and then start off the new section at the number. Because what would happen is, well, I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you guys. All right, so let me just show you. Basically what you do is come up to the header. Now I have different odd and even pages selected because I wanted to have my name on one page and the name of my book on the next page. But what I didn't want to do was have that on the chapter ones. Now the first page of the section three is the chapter one. So all I do is I do different first page. That means I can delete the header off the first page which has already been done and it doesn't affect the other ones. The other header is still there. Now the problem starts when you get to chapter two and the header is still there. Now you want this header gone. So what do you do? What I did was simple. You take the break, make it continuous. The, the title disappears, right? But look, now this page is page six because this page is technically page six, but they're not counting this page apparently as a number. This page is page six. Now, sometimes the numbers just go off because when I first tried it, my numbers just simply, that just made my numbers off because this actually, chapter two would start with page one again. Now, if that happens, you still do the same thing. All right, after you make it continuous, what you do is, you notice this is page five. So what you do is you take this section and you go to insert, you go to page number, you go to format page number. You can untick this if this is ticked, you don't need this. You go to start from the page that's after the page that is this number. Or you can continue from the previous section, right? This becomes page seven now. See, this is page five. This becomes page seven. I actually didn't know you could continue to from the previous section until just now. Don't I feel like an idiot? I simply started them all from the number afterwards. Show you it again. Chapter three, page 12. I go, I make page layout, make the section continuous. The, this disappears because I already have in the header view, I already have different first page. So it makes the first page, that's why that disappears, basically. So what I do with it is I go down here. This is still the regular number, because why? It seems like the document sort of remembers after you start doing it a while. But look, you go to page number, formatting page number, and it just says continuous from previous section. See, it seems like the document just remembers it after a while. When I first tried it, it was a headache, though. I was trying to get the numbers and the numbers to agree. But that's basically a trick. Either you can do the whole make the documents continue from the previous section or you can make the document start from the number that is after, right after the previous section. Basically, that's all you do. You make this a the different section, this particular chapter, you make each chapter their own section and then you say different first page. And for me, I want a different odd and even, but you don't have to do that. You can say different first page, meaning that the first page of each section can be blank and it won't affect the other pages. And for the numbers, you go to page number, format page numbers, pick continuous from previous section, or you could do what I did, because I didn't know this, this button actually existed, don't I feel stupid? And I could, and you could simply click, go to start at page 12. Give you the same thing, see? All right, well that's just my two cents, that's maybe an easier way to do this, maybe an easier way to make headings on, or delete headers from only specific pages in Word. Thank you for watching this video, like, comment, subscribe, and God bless you all.